In this video, we're going to explore the Take Earth Back mod, which revamps the final mission of Mass Effect 3, adding in new content and restoring some dialogue and cutscenes that were missing from the original release. I'll be showing you these cutscenes and sharing my thoughts on the mod. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. I'm currently offering limited edition merch that you can pick up at bonfire.com slash store slash Big Dan. There are two different designs, including the return of the popular space waifu. The sale ends January 1st, so get it before it's gone by going to bonfire.com slash store slash Big Dan or clicking on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's dive right in. As many of you are aware, the development of Mass Effect 3 was very rushed with BioWare staff crunching to finish the game in time for EA's aggressive publishing schedule. This left certain parts of the game feeling unpolished or undercooked, and nowhere is that more apparent than the final mission of the game. Players spend dozens of hours throughout the course of Mass Effect 3 recruiting forces and assembling a victory fleet to retake Earth, but you really don't get to see the results of your efforts during the mission itself. And so it feels like gathering all of those allies was ultimately meaningless because it doesn't make any noticeable impact on the game unless your war asset score is extremely low. The mod we are discussing today, called Take Earth Back, seeks to rectify these problems in the final mission with the aim of representing the allies you have gathered over the course of the trilogy, fixing bugs, and adding ambient immersive events. The mod also restores a lot of cut content such as dialogue with Erdnot Rex, Primarch Victus, Admiral Ron, Major Kirahi, James Vega, and more. I want to make it clear though, this mod only changes the Priority Earth mission itself, not the ending or the choices you make at the end of the game. You'll still experience the same cutscenes and dialogue with the Star Child and resulting choices. So if you're looking for an overhaul of that, there are other mods that do it, but this isn't one of them. You can install the Take Earth Back mod if you're playing on PC by going to Nexus Mods and downloading it. This mod also requires you to install the LE3 community patch and framework, which has some additional fixes and improvements for Mass Effect 3. Once everything is installed, simply play through the final mission and you'll experience Take Earth Back and all it has to offer. So let's dive into the nitty gritty details and show the new content you'll experience during Take Earth Back. I'll be going in chronological order through the mission and covering as much as I can. The first change I noticed during Take Earth Back I actually didn't like. This mod fixes the bug dialogue during Steve Cortez's shuttle crash at the beginning of the mission. Typically if Cortez survives, a male Shepard character will react with the very dramatic STEVE! STEVE! This line was originally supposed to be used only if Shepard was in a romantic relationship with Cortez. But due to a bug, it would play regardless of how close Steve and Shepard were. In Take Earth Back, this bug is fixed so that the appropriate reaction will play instead. Here are both reactions using the exact same character and save file. Damn it, I'm hit! Steve! I'm alright! You sure? Damn it, I'm hit! Cortez! I'm alright! You sure? I was a little bummed by this. Yes, it's a more accurate depiction of their friendship, but the dramatic STEVE, Steve! reaction has become a meme in the Mass Effect community. Sometimes bugs and glitches are more entertaining than patches and fixes, so I kind of wish the modders would have left this one alone. When you reach the Alliance camp, you'll notice that a lot more allies are milling around, not only humans, but many other aliens that you recruited throughout the course of the game, like Arya's mercenaries, Salarians, Batarians, Elcor, Volus, Asari, Krogan, Geth, Corians, and more. Unfortunately, I didn't see a Hanar, which is a little disappointing because Kasumi and I did save their homeworld after all. Come on, send me Blasto with a gun in each tentacle for Christ's sake. Enkindle this. You. Big stupid jellyfish. You'll even get a chance to speak with Major Kiriki, which is typically only possible if you betray Rex and sabotage the genophage cure in Mass Effect 3. Here is the conversation with our Hold the Line homie. Commander, I would have liked to have seen your world under better circumstances. But failing that, I'm happy to help you take it back from the Reapers. And don't worry, we're here to hold the line. We're ready, Commander. Just give the word. 
You also get some extended dialogue with James where he discusses his father. Hey, one good piece of news, I guess. I checked the local Alliance database. Turns out my dad made it to one of the safe zones. I didn't know you were looking for him. I am, I think. Glad to hear it. I'm sure you'll see him soon. Yeah. <clears throat> Not too far from Kirihi, there is an Asari giving a speech to some of her troops as well. Sisters, your time has come. Our species has long believed in the power of cooperation, of strength in numbers, of true galactic unity. Today, we finally realize that dream. From the Citadel to Omega, our entire galaxy stands together, united. Think of your bondmates, your children, your sisters standing beside you. You fight to give them a future free of this menace. Thessia may have fallen, the Citadel may be lost, but our spirit endures. We stand on human soil, but we carry the might of our republics to bear against our foe. We are the Asari, and we will send these Reaper bastards screaming back into the void. For victory! For Thessia! When you speak to Primarch Victus, the conversation is expanded into a full cutscene with dialogue choices. Primarch Victus, I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Though I'm sorry to see your world looks as bad as ours. I'm surprised you're not back on Palapin. This war will be won or lost today, here, on Earth, not Palavan. Everything comes down to this moment, and history will record that the Turian hierarchy stood among the brave. I want to thank you for deploying your fleet. How did they manage? Taking the main Reaper force head on? About as good as I could have hoped. Which is to say there isn't much of a fleet left. This is our last stand, Commander. There are no more reinforcements. How are things back on Palavin? Erdnot Rex was true to his word. The Krogan put up a magnificent fight. Fearless to the last soldier. They bought us time to evacuate civilians. Yet even then the Reapers were still too much. The only hope from my world now is victory here on Earth. I'm glad we got this chance to speak. Likewise. And Commander, may the spirits be with you. The same thing happens with Erdnot Rex as well. This is a Solarian boot camp. I want to be prepped and ready in five. Get to it. Shepard, you did it. You did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. I take it this is your first time here? I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. I guess you'll be needing a new planet, too. That's okay. chunk has got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. We'll get it done. Victory in this war starts now. Shepard, my men are gearing up to start a run against that Reaper. But listen, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. Thanks, Rex. Oh, and Makara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. You can also speak with Admiral Ron and a Geth Prime unit if you achieve peace between the Geth and Corians like I did in this playthrough. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. I appreciate your support, Admiral. Those live ships will bring a lot of firepower. Just keep them protected. The live ships are safe, Commander. But we'll do whatever we must to win. Thanks, Ron. Good luck. Shepard, Commander. What's your status? The Geth are prepared to face the Reapers. We have coordinated with Creator Forces. Our platforms will support their ground units. Preparations are complete. We stand ready. How are you and the Quarians working together? Geth platforms have been integrated with Creator Squadrons. 
We serve as frontline units. Our hardware can withstand more damage than Quarian and Viro suits, and creators are skilled at providing cover fire. It is a tactically sound strategy, and there is synergy when we are in consensus. Have the Reapers tried contacting you since Ranoff? They made an attempt. We rejected it. We will not relinquish sentience. There will be no more compromise with the old machines. Today, the Geth fight to secure our future. And once the war is over, we will help rebuild yours. Just be ready for anything. Standing by. And that's basically all of the unique and restored dialogue that I encountered during this mission. Though I'm sure there's more that I could potentially find if I used some of my other playthroughs where I made different choices. For instance, I'd be curious to see if they did anything with Erdnot Reeves' conversations on Earth. Aside from dialogue, there were some minor changes I noticed throughout the mission, such as a parade of Rachni and other forces in the background here. Some Rachni spore pods in this parking structure, as well as Elcor warriors charging alongside Shepard during the final push to the beam. That was pretty cool. As for technical things, the game still ran smoothly for me with this mod installed. Although I did experience one crash about halfway through the mission, which kicked me back to the Legendary Edition launcher. Thankfully, I didn't lose very much progress, and I was able to play through the rest of the mission without any issues. Overall, I enjoyed the Take Earth Back mod, but at the end of the day, most of the changes are just window dressing. None of this content impacts gameplay during the final mission in the slightest. Obviously, changing map designs or adding any different enemy encounters would require a lot more work. But given the existing framework of Priority Earth, this mod does a fantastic job of improving the content. I may or may not continue to use this mod in future playthroughs. I haven't decided yet, but if you're interested, I recommend trying it out for yourself. So there you have it, my review of Mass Effect 3's Take Earth Back mod. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. And head over to bonfire.com slash store slash Big Dan, or click on the link in the description to buy the limited edition merch. The sale ends January 1st. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go. Steve!